Stepping into the diffuser situation, the Home Ministry enlisted the support of the All India Motor Trucker Cong Congress and jointly appealed to the truckers to end the strike. Truckers, truck drivers have expected to be back on roads from Wednesday, ending a potential crisis in transport of essential goods. The provisions of the Bharatiya Naya Sanhita has not been implemented so far. We will co uh, consult the AIM TC whenever we implement Section 1062 of the new law, which deals with a higher penalty in hit and run cases, Home Secretary Ajay Balla said after a meeting with representatives from the lobby representing the truckers. Bal Manki Singh, core member chairman of AMITC, said he expects drivers to return to work from Wednesday. We had a very fruitful discussion with the Home Secretary and they have taken note of the concerns expressed by the drivers. On Monday and Tuesday, a large number of truck drivers and transporters refused to ply the vehicle protesting against the provision in the BNS providing for up to 10 year jail sentence and fine for not informing police after an accident resulting in death. BNS, which was ratified by the parliament, provide for a sentence of up to five years for those who inform police or magistrate after the marriage. Under the Indian Penal Code, the current law, a two-year jail sentence and penalty is provided for such offence, and drunkards feel they will be hit hard by the new law. Government sources say provision applies to all hit and run cases involving any vehicle and does not tar just target buses and trucks. In 2022, hit and run cases led to 51,000 deaths on road and accounting for nearly 30% of all fatalities that add up to over 1.7 lakh.